what is going on aries it is scorpion reds tarot back at it again for the month of uh, for the month for the month of march <laughs> Let's find out what we got going on for the month of March, my beautiful, beautiful Aries. What's going on with you? Have y'all been behaving? Hmm? Tell the truth. Have y'all been behaving? Huh? No? Oh, okay. Anyway, let me stop. All right. So, shout out to everyone who's been booking personal private readings. If you would like to do so, you can click that hyperlink that says Scorpion Red Tarot and simply book me on my About page on my YouTube channel. Uh, page so if you go to my youtube channel there's a link that's a, there's a there's a tab that says about click the about tab and you'll see at the bottom there's a blue link that says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me y'all go ahead and click that and then you can book a personal private reading with me if this video resonates and if you want to give a donation to the page you can do so there's um a paypal link in my description let's get into the reading okay Father God, Father God, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Aries. Lord, you know I love my Aries. Yes, indeed, Father, come on through today. My Aries, I look, they say they've been behaving, God. They say they've been behaving. I believe them. This is a good look. God, I believe them. What we going to do with them? What, what is we going to do? Aries is actually behaving nowadays. What is we going to do with them, Father God? What, do we, what are we going to do? <laughs> but you know what? Since they have been being so freaking good, Father, please reward the sign of Aries with some beautiful, beautiful messages for what they can expect in the month of March. Because I really do feel deep in my heart that my Aries have been on their best of most bestest behavior. And they have been cleaning up their act and getting, look, they, they give out straight facts. Okay, straight facts. Hashtag facts. That's all they've been doing. And people might have got their feelings hurt. But you know. Only thing they can do is. Facts. That's it. You know what I'm saying. That's that. That's it. They're not even trying to have no smoke. No drama out here with nobody. They've been trying. You know. Cease fire. Don't smoke the brothers. They ain't, they ain't been trying. But out here trying to hurt nobody. You know. They ain't been. You know. So Father. Please give the sign of Aries guidance. For the month of March 2019, thank you again, Father God, for all of the blessings and the lessons and everything that you have taken us through and pulled us up out of, Father. Thank you for all of the mountains that you have moved so that we can have clear passage to move straight forward into the future, into glory, into freedom, and into happiness. That is the most important thing. I feel like the sign of Aries, they, they have been going through a transition of clearing up a lot of stuff to make more room for happiness and growth and gosh darn it like i just i'm i just want to hug them because i love them i just want to hug them because i love them like they be getting on my nerve but i love them anyway father please give us guidance for the sign of aries for the month of march thank you again for all of the messages and the blessings in the past present and future please give them guidance all right let's see what we got father please give the sign of aries guidance what just slide right on out, why don't you? The witchy sisters, the power of tree, the tree little amigos. What they got to say, girl? What them three girls got to say? Mm. Nine. I feel like y'all been going through something for about like nine months, and y'all ready? Y'all, y'all about y'all look, look. The magical power of tree, of tree, as my baby father say. These three Richie sisters triplets, they go everywhere together. Each one of them works with the other one to keep their magical knowledge strong and very grounded and very simple too. Their hats are designed to connect them to celestial knowledge. And that is said to be above. Wait, all that said to be above and what they take and when they take them off. They are connected to the earth, which is said to be a low. So as above, so below. Uh, they are very good at sensing what sort of energy is about. They often visit people who know that something isn't quite right, but they just can't work out exactly what it is. These sisters are like spooky antennas. They use their powerful psychic skills to work out what's really happening. Once they can identify the energy's use, they can work on an antidote and share the right action with you. Because for every problem that exists, a world of magic provides a solution. 
when your powers are focused in this threefold way, you can create a powerful energy shift in the world around you. And your world as a result of consciousness that you choose to create will change. Okay? So as above, so below. And I just feel like right now, um, yeah. I, and I said that in the beginning, like, you guys are just giving out straight facts. And, like, you're not trying to hurt nobody or nothing like that. But you've been trying to get down to the root of a certain situation here. And these three little witchy sisters, they're, help you, they're here to help you get down to the hashtag facts. They're help, look, facts. They're here to help you get down to the facts because they just about as nosy posy rosy as you is, okay? And they're like, okay, we done got this intuition with these hats on. And they told us to bring all those spooky little ass over here to help Aries out because they need to get some eyes straight. They need to get an issue or something, a situation straight that they can't put their finger on. And we about to take these hats off and we about to put our feet up on this earth and help them, you know, yeah, get some work done. The three witchy spitcher... Oh. The three witchy sisters speak. We can sense around you some strange energy. And we three are tuning in so we can identify and explain what is happening. In this way, the three, very clever, very simply, without fear at all. Because the problem may not even be a problem. It is simply something that you don't understand yet. Let us come in. Let us help you. And we will soon share exactly what it is. But you must help us by being aware, awake, and alert to what's around you. The true message. Something that just has happened will happen twice. And then three times. Sometimes... Something that has already happened twice will happen once more. And something that has happened three times is now complete. Finish farewell and finally by three who are in charge of these strands of fate that repeat in threes till this lesson is learned. Oh, let me put that over there, honey. That was, hold on, honey. Did y'all get that? Did y'all get that? Listen, let me tell you something. Okay? So there is something that you cannot put your finger on. There's a situation that it seems like that you cannot solve. And that you just keep repeating the same scenario over and over and over. And they done came down and said enough. Because this person keep repeating the same bullshit. It's time for us to help them figure out the correct antidote. So they can complete this mission. Okay? So there's something that you... A cycle that you keep repeating in your life and it's like you're going to keep going through this over and over and over again until you get the clear message and they're here to help you get that message in that antidote all right spirit please clarify the three witchy sisters for the sign of aries march thank you so much Thank you so much. Please clarify the three good chief sisters. The power of three. Oh. Okay. Your chariot is broken. This is a sign of cancer. Okay, so there might be a cancer in your um seems like there's a cancer that you've been waiting on, Aries. It's a cancer that does not does not understand his emotions. He don't understand if he's coming or going. And I feel like you need to remove yourself from this situation in order for you to, to, to see. It's like you need to oh, separate yourself from the current world that, you, that you're in right now so that you can thoroughly see the situation for what it is. That was a lot. I think I put some back, but we're going to just do what we got to do here. All right, so to clarify the three witchy sisters, there's um might be a cancer in your around you. This is the chariot in reverse, and as you can see, you see that broken road. And if you could look at even closer, look even closer. Do you see his chariot? Like the wheels and everything is broken. Like this shit is fucked up, and it's like typically in the right away tarot, uh, tarot deck, you have the two um the sphinxes or whatever that is in the front, right? 
Well, on this one, it's sphinxes. You see the sphinx? Okay. So this is the front of the card. This is when the Cancer is emotionally a stout. They know, excuse me if I said that wrong, just emotionally sure. They know exactly what they want. They know where they're headed. They're emotionally guided by their intuition. And, you know, they're moving forward triumphantly ready to create something new. They're moving forward. They're moving in a new direction. This person... This person is literally creating chaos everywhere they go because they don't know where they're going. Like, they don't know if they're emotionally secure in the situation that they're in. They don't know if they want to come or go. Like, each one of the sphinxes, one is going this way, the other one is going the other way. Like, this person is fighting within itself. This one, one minute this person is hot, one minute this person is cold, one minute this person is nice, one minute this person will cut you off. You don't know if this person likes you anymore. Like, this person is a shit-ass goddamn rat. This person is a shit ass rat. And um, what is this thing in his hand? I don't know what that thing is in their hand. What is that, y'all? What is that little golden thing? Let me turn around in the front. What does that mean? I need to figure out what that means. Because that has some important detail in it. But this person doesn't know where they want to go. This person doesn't know where they want to go. And I feel like you've been sitting around waiting. You've been sitting around waiting, putting your time and effort into something that you feel like is not going anywhere or it surely is not going in the direction that you wanted it to go to i feel like right now you just want to remove yourself this is the hangman you want to remove yourself like i feel like you just need a break <laughs> you need a break of some mental clarity and i feel like for you you feel like you're not going to be able to see what you need to see unless you remove yourself from this situation and willingly take yourself out of this environment so that you can see shit from a different angle. Because if you look at him. Do he look like he worried or that he was up there. Because he did something bad. He is up there chilling and relaxing. He's like nah. I'm, I literally put myself up here. Because I don't want to deal with you no more. And I rather just, I rather just hang and chill out. Like I just need some mental clarity. I need to be by myself. Like this person needs to be by themselves. Because I feel like they waited. They literally waited. And they felt like they did all of that work for nothing. And they felt like they were dealing with a child. And it's like. You know, I've been sitting here, I've been trying to teach you and I've been trying to work with you and show you something that we could work towards to create a foundation. And this whole time you were acting like a child and everything that we were working on was a figment of my imagination. This is real solid gold. These are pinnacles. This is imagination. This person wasn't really working on shit. This person was acting like they were going to work on something with you. This person didn't do shit and this person carried it and conducted itself like a child the whole time. Okay, and it's, if anything, this person, this child should have been learning. This child didn't learn anything. Look at the child's face. Don't he? He look like a little badass little boy. Don't he? Look at his face. He don't. He don't look like he really learning nothing. So let me show. <laughs> let me show. Let me show. Oh, 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 gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, somebody's being dealt a stiff one. Someone is being dealt a stiff one. Because Aries is coming through. Aries is coming through like, listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Let me let me explain. Let me let me let me explain something to you. Let me let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. They is rushing through. And y'all already know how Aries be when they pissed off. You already know how Aries be when the fuck they pissed off. This person is rushing through just like spitting facts. Like I said what I told you. Hashtag facts. Facts. You ain't shit. You don't know what the fuck you want. You don't know where you're going. You don't know where you're headed. And I'm not headed in no direction with you. You had me waiting in here for no reason. One minute you're hot. One minute you're cold. One minute you want to be with me. One minute you don't. And I just been sitting here patiently waiting. And you wasted my fucking time. And bitch you got me fucked up. Because I will not deal with your ass at all. Because you know what? I Yes you're right. I have been a little bit reserved. And I've been acting a little distant towards you. Because yes I had to see shit from a different angle. Okay? 
back I had to take those rose colored glasses off and look at shit from the outside how everybody else was looking at me and how I was acting and how I was chasing you around chasing someone around that don't even know what the fuck they want I look fucking stupid and I was working on something with someone who's a fucking child and I feel like Aries is coming through they are going the fuck off hashtag facts excuse me what what listen Linda Girl I done told you before I sat back and I looked at myself I looked at all of that mental anguish that I was allowing myself to be stagnant. You see, this person is being stabbed in the middle of the night. Stabbed and just tormented by his thoughts. This person belittled them. This person lied to them. This person betrayed them. And this person is has been going through this mental torment every night. Every night for nine months. Because I said, didn't I say somebody was going through something for about like nine months? For about nine months. The, and this is the number nine. Nine of swords. Somebody's been going through this about nine months. And I feel like at the beginning of the year, Aries finally got to the point where it's like, look, I'm not staying up tripping over this shit no more. I rebuke this in the name of Jesus. I've been giving this shit too much of my mental time. I gave you nine months too long, bitch. You got to go, honey. This person has turned their back on you. This is the Empress in reverse. You, you, you can soar your ass the fuck on somewhere else. Because I don't turn my back on you because I need to grow. I need to grow and be the person that I was designed to be. And I am a creator, all right? I live in a lap of luxury. I'm always comfortable and secure. And that's why you want to be around me. Because you know I'm always good over here. But I could easily turn my back to you and tell you to kiss my ass. And that you could soar on somewhere the fuck else. Okay, bitch? Because I ain't got it to do. I ain't got it to do. Because you coming over here with that third party bullshit. You got somebody else that you dealing with? Go deal with them. I oblige you. I will help you. Please go about your business and do what you want to do. Because you thought that this foundation of what we had here was going to stand up permanently on this bullshit. Yeah, I might have played the game with you at first. Yeah, once I found out what, what, what the situation was, I should have left your ass the fuck alone. But, no. And then for the Aries men that have been dealing and dibbling dabbling and shit, they're like, I don't have time for this shit no more. I do not have time for this shit no more because I'm going to tell you why they don't have time for this shit no more. They know that the judgment day is coming. Oh, the bell has rung. Y'all have been summoned to answer for the deeds of your past. And if you've been doing good, you're going to be blessed. And if you've been doing bad, you're going to have to answer for it. This is judgment. This is judgment. You guys are being summoned from them coffins. And it's time. It's time to pay the piper. It's time to pay the piper. Because at the end of the day, the way the gods are looking at it, they don't care if it's man, woman, or child. We all got to deal with our sins and with our transgressions. Okay? And if what you've been doing is good, you, man, woman, and child, we all got to face it. Aries said, I'm not going to do this no more. I'm not doing this no more. I'm completely closing myself out. So let me re let me read this back for for the Aries men. Because there's Aries, there's a, I feel like there's an Aries men that's been dealing with a crazy ass bitch. <laughs> I feel like the Aries men got themselves in a third party situation. They were cheating with someone that they realize is emotionally unstable. And you can't tell if this bitch is coming up on one minute. This bitch is cool. And she figured, and she seemed like she with the program. And she noticed she a side bitch and shit like that. And she rocking with it the next minute. She acting cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and shit. And this person has been waiting for this person to get their self together I feel like so they can break the news cause they actually stood from the outside and looked in at their situation and they were like what the fuck am I doing why am I working on a situation with this person when I got a, I got something else going on 
You know, I got other shit going on that I need to be working on. I damn sure don't need to be working on this. I need to be working on what's best for myself. And this person is immature. This person is a child and they're not really old enough to be receptive to what I'm trying to teach them or what I'm trying to, you know, the truth I'm trying to lay down to them because you're vigorously letting this person know the truth. But for some reason, I feel like this person stays up late at night and they are not getting it. They're having a slower process of getting and understanding the fact that this is a mental burden on you and that this is not something that you can like take anymore like you can't take the torment anymore knowing that you're doing this and this person is too immature for you and you don't feel like this person has developed their self enough because if you turn around this empress is young she's not old enough she's not able to bear kids and she's still a child you feel like this person is, is not old enough um honestly to perform her duties as the empress and this shit was Found it. I mean, the foundation of it, it was holding on by three swords. So it wasn't something where it was just you two in the beginning anyway. And you're like, man, I ain't trying to get caught up in no bad karma for this. So let me just cut this shit off because I don't love this girl anyway. This is just somebody that I was playing with. This is just somebody that I was playing with. And I feel like you, you've come to... You've come to clarity about this shit and I feel like this is some behavior that some of the Aries men know that they need to clean this shit up and really stop dealing with these young immature ass girls just because they're easy to get. And this is that cycle that you done went to through two or three times. Two or three times. And with that Empress in reverse, y'all could have had a y'all could have had a child by someone who was young and immature. You could have had a child by someone who was young and mature. And I feel like you might have put yourself in a situation with another little dilly broad like that. And you like, uh-uh, I already got a baby by somebody that be acting stupid. And <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Y'all are not trying to do this. Anyway, so Aries, let's get into love. Please give Aries guidance in March. Yeah, to Aries, this is this is them trying to be on their best behavior. Like, recognizing, like, look, I done been in a situation like this two or three times. I can't continue to do this. Like, I just, look, you done had to suspend yourself in air. You done had to get your, you done got yourself hung up in the situation. That's number one. But number two, why you got yourself hung up in a situation you really got a chance to look at yourself and look at what you've been doing and realize that this is not this is not good you need to stop you need to separate yourself from this energy from this person here this third party here this third three three nine y'all you need to you need to separate yourself from this situation you've been dealing with this situation for about nine months okay and it's been nine months too long, and you really need to get this out of your energy because you're going to have to pay karma for this, okay? And I don't think you're really going to want to deal with the karma that you're going to have because it's going to hit you. Listen, bad luck comes in threes. You done dealt with this, you done repeated this cycle three, two or three times, and if you continue this and act like you don't want to separate yourself from this toxic energy, this shit you keep repeating, it's... You done repeated it three times, and bad luck gonna burn your ass three times. You better cut that shit out. Because the person that you're dealing with could be the one. This is your soulmate. So don't be out here fucking around on your soulmate, y'all. Please don't. Please give me some additional information and love. Please clarify this love situation. And I feel like I'm about to uh, be nosy and get my other cards. So everybody, and listen, everybody's readings are going to be different. I'm going to use different cards. I'm and do different things so if you watched another um if someone's watching this reading and i use cards in this reading that i've been using your science cards i apologize if you want a personal reading go ahead and hit me up and i can use whatever card you want me to use but i'm gonna do what i feel guided to do and i feel like i want to be nosy so <laughs> Spirit, please give me additional guidance and love unless these cards are about to like truly clarify something Please clarify the reinvention. 
you're trying to find ways to reinvent yourself and you just feel like this situation is stagnant stagnating you and you want to offer you want to reinvent and offer what awakening and shadow work all right we're gonna get into the shadow and surrender picking an additional guidance and love for aries oh Cycles. I told you cycles. I told you. You come to your own conclusions. And to you. So listen. So in regards to this love situation that you are like delaying and separation from this third party. You're trying to find a way to reinvent yourself, but you just don't know. I don't feel like you truly know how to change. Honestly, you're working on this change, but and you want to reinvent yourself, but it's just still energies that you are still dealing with that is making it impossible. And it's like you're really working on reinventing yourself, but it's still some little bullshit that you still got lingering behind that's making it impossible to offer yourself to this new awakening. You know, you you really come to this place with this new awakening where you're really trying to offer yourself wholeheartedly and be this new person that you want to be. I mean... And you have reinvented yourself. I feel like y'all life is completely different in a lot of ways. But in a lot of ways, it's still the same. It's still some more of that same bullshit um, lurking around in the background. But you're trying to offer yourself to this brand new beginning, to this new direction, to this brand new awakening that you've had in your life. And you feel so much freer. You, I mean, you see them clap. You feel freer and you feel better here. Your life feels different. You feel better. And you feel better about yourself because... You realize that it was some shadow work, some deep, dark shit going on that you needed to fix with Aries that you were neglecting to do. And you guys have finally got to the point where you have started to address and work through some of that shit. And you have surrendered yourself to the change. You have surrendered yourself to the change. Now that you done finally, listen, now you're finally able to stand upright. When you were going through this point where it was like there's some shadow work that needed to be addressed. You know, you you were you were doing a lot of fucked up shit. I, I mean, I'm going to keep it 100. But now that you've able to address that and look at that and you dig deep, you know, you didn't have that awakening because you've addressed that and you surrendered to this change. So the only thing you got to do now, listen... Is really walk towards that new direction. Walk towards that new direction. Because you're surrendering yourself to this new direction. And you're being recognized for it. You're being recognized for it. You guys have got new jobs. I feel like your friendships are, um, you know, like things are developing. And I feel like you have recognized maybe a new direction in love that you want to go. Or you're finding out that you, the person that you've been with, this third part, you know, this person that you've been with from the beginning is finally starting to recognize you because you've been making the changes that you should have been making. And you're closing some of these cycles. You really, you're really recognizing this. You're using your intuition and you're closing and you're changing some of these cycles. And you're being recognized for it. And you've come to the conclusion that you have to destroy this behavior that has been so destructive and Causing so much chaos in your life. And you are changing. And you're moving forward. And, you, and you're and you like, I'm not lit. I, 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 I don't really want. I know I'm going to have to address some of this shit. And I'm going to have to answer for some of this shit. And I feel like Aries has already dealt with some of the bad karma. Of the things that they've been doing. But here again, here come judgment reeling up on your ass. You understand? And it's like. Do we need to talk about this? Do we need to talk about this? So however it's Aries that is has the third party or someone dealing with Aries and you know that you're the third party and 
you need to come to your conclusion about this shit like that because this person there's not going to be any love that's really going to grow here because i feel like this person the only love that y'all have is in the nighttime this person comes to sneak to see you in the night child this was a drive-by fruiting this just was a drive-by fucking fruiting um no, 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 no. Let's 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 be nosy. Let's be nosy. Let's be nosy. Let's get into the shadow work. Let's dig deep and see what was going on in the shadows. Spirit, please give me some guidance for Aries. These three sisters. Please give me guidance. In regards to these three sisters, what is this? The three witchy sisters. Please give me guidance in regards to these three witchy sisters and what they are coming to help every seed that's in the shadows that is blocking this new direction. Please give us God. Oh, ooh, ooh. This is foolish. You know that you are. Um, still participating in foolish behavior and you know that it's foolish and I feel like you guys have been drinking and it's been stressing y'all out because y'all trying to figure out a way to break away from the situation because you know it's foolish and you do not this is non-action you guys do not want to continue to interact with this person you want to take a non-action approach but for some reason you cannot figure out a way how to get your ass out of the situation I don't know why it's just you cannot figure out how to communicate with this person that you don't want to continue this anymore it's like this person i feel like this person is a little fucking crazy like this that cancer um car and uh, that chariot yeah you cannot figure out how to walk away from this person you cannot figure out you were delaying walking away why is this person delaying walking away they're trying to be guarded i feel like this because i feel like this person is a fucking nutcase spirit please give me some guidance on why they are being so guarded and why they can't walk away from this person stagnant all right you just saying the same thing over and over spirit please give me additional guidance in regards to this love situation thank you so much the power of the three she sisters what is it that what is this cycle that needs to be broken it's not connecting like something is not connecting for you Aries something that's why you keep repeating this cycle it's just something that and it says this cycles is something that's not connecting why you keep participating in this three parties behavior and that's what it is and it's like now you're trying to come forth and you're trying to tell this person that you don't want to do this anymore Yeah. This is you. Listen. This is you getting the message back. Like you are finally getting the message back. I, I feel like you sent a message out to see if the clo if the coast is clear to move on. You're about to make movement. First you had to send a message. You had to get the correct message to see if the coast was clear before you move forward. Okay? Because right now you don't have anything to offer to this situation this situation is something that would take a little bit more work than you're willing to put forth and this is a denial letter i feel like you might have got some communication that you've been denied okay that you've been denied that it's maybe not a good time to move forward and that there will be some stagnation and you know there is some stagnation before you move forward okay so this is something that is not emotionally fulfilling to you and I feel like like I said I feel like you have been driving yourself to drink about the situation and it's like regardless how long it takes you you're still rushing forward because you're going to grab this new beginning you're going to grab it. it's like no matter how long it takes and I feel like you realize that this situation this message that you got say hey look this not the right time bro I know you ready to, to pack your shit up and move forward but right now ain't the right time you need to rework your planning you need to re-strategize because 
the page of pentacles could be a message of newfound planning and development and things like that so it's you need to rework your plan okay you need to go back to the table and rework your plan it's not saying that you are not moving forward but it's just going to be some delays you need to move you need to rework your plan because Whatever it is about the situation, like you are really not happy here. You're emotionally not fulfilled, and it's the, it's driving you to a point of almost intoxication where you've been overindulging. And I don't even necessarily want to say and just I'm I'm hearing cocaine. I want to say um somebody's been I want to say that somebody's been messing around with drugs or drinking too much, and your children say, listen, your children see you overindulging in this, okay. Or I want to say your children see less of you because you be so intoxicated. Y'all need to get that shit together. Y'all really need to get that shit together. But yeah, um, regardless, you're moving forward. You're moving forward. And I really want to say, look, Aries. I'm, I'm getting mad because for the ones that's been dealing with substance abuse, you guys really stopped. Why you let somebody trigger you to go back in and doing drugs? Come on, y'all. Anyway, you go that chariot in reverse again. Why has you been start doing drugs again? Because this situation is com <laughs> this situation completely has you out of your fucking mind. It has you out of your fucking mind. You don't know where to go. You don't know how to go. And you need that emo you need that emotional guidance. You need you need guidance. So that you can see clear and you can figure this new strategy out about what you need to do. Because you're tired of crying over spilled milk and shit that just you you're ready to move forward. You're turning around and you're looking at what's behind you. It's like I don't give a fuck about what that that cat doing or what that other bitch done spilled over. I don't care. I just want to move forward and I just want to be acknowledged and I want to be triumphant and I want to be successful and it's just fell down as well and I feel like you're in a place of confusion and you don't know and you're trying to act like you're blinded like you don't see what's going on you don't see what's what you're doing you know exactly what you're doing and you need to stop this bullshit but you you want to be acknowledged and you want to be successful that's the most important thing you want to be acknowledged but you want to be successful with this person whoever you're dealing with in this situation this three-party situation that you're dealing with i feel like it's somebody that you're dealing with that is driving you completely shit fucking bonkers and this is a this situation you know that is foolish you know that this is something that you should be non-active in, but yet you can't move forward. You don't know how to communicate that you don't want to deal with this person anymore. And you want to walk away from this person. You're guarded from this person for some reason. And there's a, you're just in a complete place of stagnation. There's, the chariot ain't moving. Like, <laughs> Come on. So let me just give you one quick spread in, in regards to career. Because I don't spend too much time in love and then we about to get the hell up out of here. Three witches sisters, there's the power of three. What was that? Career. You're not able in Aries, okay? This whole situation has been blocking your creative expression. This shit has been stressing you the fuck out, and I feel like you've been acting a fucking you have not been creatively expressing yourself in a good way. You've been doing it in a negative way, okay? I feel like You've been acting in an unjustified behavior. It says, your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. You're not able, like you're not, you're not doing what you need to be doing and you could possibly be doing this shit at work. So it's a good possibility that you might be cheating and this third party person might be someone that you're dealing with at work and i feel like you are going to go out there and because you're stressed and you're frustrated you've been going out there getting body art like you've been getting tattoos i feel like that's the way that you've been dealing with your frustration either you've been thinking about getting a tattoo or you just you just got a tattoo because you got drunk or you was high and out of frustration you know somebody didn't do tattoos and you was like fuck it go ahead and tap me up that's the way you're expressing yourself creatively right now 
But I feel like this person, like, even in your love situation is spilling into your work environment. That's fucking crazy. Like, you need to cut it the fuck out. Please give me, please give me something else. Please give me some day to day guys. But it, everything's going to explode. Everything is going to explode, Aries. Like, you need to cut it out, clear it up, and cut it out. Because you're not able to move forward at this time. Because you're, the road that you're paving for yourself, the road that you're paving for yourself is not stable. It is not stable ground. It is rocky ground. You are creating a rocky environment for you. Not only that, but your chariot uh, wheels is broken. And it's eventually going to collapse. You need to cut it the fuck out. And again, this is clarified again by the chariot in reverse. You need to cut it out. Because you're stuck. Alright, so giving and receiving, you need to give. You need to give positively to the universe and you will receive back positively from the universe. If you're giving the universe, shit is going to give you back shit. Alright, this is blocking your business. This is blocking your creativity, okay? This entrepreneurship card, it's blocking your creativity for you to grow and it's getting in the way of your business. You do have a lot of joy in your life right now. However, um, this water sign, this ocean, listen, this is the ocean, okay? You need to get out there and you need to, you need to, I feel like you guys need to take a long, deep shower and you need to get up under the water, completely cover your head in water and you need to close your eyes and you need to pray to God and you need to think because I feel like there's somebody that's a water sign is driving you complete fucking goddamn crazy and you need to notice the sign you ain't being honest with yourself about this situation and you're trying to act like there ain't nothing to worry about but you know it is this situation is going to completely explode if you don't ground yourself and do what the fuck you need to do you need to focus on your goddamn job you need to focus on service and you need to change your direction in life like for real because you are trying to change but yet you're not trying to change okay you are trying to change but at the same time it's like certain things that you're not changing Aries if you want to do it do it you know so they coming around to show you exactly what it is and why it is that you're having a problem with fully doing that turnaround that you need to do all right so i love you aries if this resonated and if you guys want to book a personal and private reading to get a full outlook in regards to the stagnation and why you keep acting in this destructive foolish behavior y'all go ahead and hit me up okay we can tap into your direct energy, you know, because this is collective. This is collective. So this is the universal energy for all of the Aries right now. But if you guys want additional guidance, y'all go ahead and book a personal private reading with me. I love you guys. Um, if this resonated, you want to drop a dollar in um, PayPal, go ahead and do so. It's in the description. Click the about tab, the book with me. I love you. Love and light. I'll see you in the mid-months.